Good evening, and welcome to the Shea Show, Real Talk in the Dark. Whatever comes to my mind, that's what it's going to be. So sit back, grab a chair, get that glass of wine, and get ready for some deep talk. I'll give you a couple minutes to get yourself together. All right. Thank you once again for tuning in to Shea Show Real Talk in the dark as well as Periscope as well as uh, YouTube J Show blah, 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 blah. anyway every now and then something crosses my mind most of you know me most of you don't and what you learned about me probably in the video that I just posted on Facebook with me uh, doing some karaoke which is pretty funny but more importantly, the message. The message. You, you guys know when I talk about a message, I mean, I'll get deep. And I don't know what it was right there on camera at the end. I mean, I just like, I felt something. I mean, I hear people talking about the Holy Ghost and all that stuff all the time. It's just like, I don't know. I felt something and I was like, I was broke. I was broke. Because I was like, I'm so disgusted with everything that's fucking going on. And it don't have to be that way. It just don't. This shit is common sense. And we self-destructed. And common sense is right there in front of us. <sighs> anyway. My brother called me. He in D.C. When I posted the video, I didn't know it, it actually went up that quick. But he called me. He said, bro. I said, hey, what's up? He said, you all right? I said, fuck you talking about? Yeah, I'm all right. Man, I'm just scrolling through Facebook and shit pop up in my feed and shit. And I was like, I, I said, whoa. What the fuck? What's on here, damn man? Let me call me so he all right. Man, I'm all right, man. And so I'm just saying, man, I'm just like looking and like, man, okay, all right, okay. I'm just saying, bro. You know, you might get you might be getting some old calls. I'm just I'm just saying, brother. I'm good. I'm good, but I appreciate that. Sometimes people don't understand things. You know what seems to be normal in your mind at that time is totally at normal in someone else's mind looking at you. But it just comes down to knowing the person. And what you guys learn from me and know from me already, I, I'm so I'm emotional. I say what's on my mind. I'm passionate. I'm not right all the fucking time. I'm not fucking perfect. I'm not. I have my flaws. I really do. But I'm just me. What you see is what you get. I converted a lot of people who didn't really even like me from the beginning. They didn't even like me. I mean, they seen one video and prejudged me. A lot of people do that all the time. And 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 Linda, you know, I'm going to put you out there in a good way. Linda, weak. 
You, well, you know who you are. Oh, my God. Oh, how disrespectful. Oh, my God. You ain't been nowhere. I can tell. Ooh, dang. If I had been her, mm, 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 I've been out of there. Yeah, like there ain't never been no place fancy before. Uh, like, wow, show some class. Ooh, my, shaking my head. I said, oh, okay. And I get that. If that's the first video you see, that's what you're going to assume that's who I am. I totally get it. And I told her, I said, listen, I understand. I truly do. Because you don't know me. So, yeah, that's, that could be a fair assessment on your end. Because you don't know me. But, <coughs> excuse me, well, here's what's going on. This lady, I've known for 20 years. This is what we do. She laughed through the whole thing because she knew already I was going to do something stupid. She knew already. And anybody who's been around me know that's that's who I am. I am. I'm going to say what's on my mind. I asked that man for a fucking kitty menu. I, I wanted to actually see they had one. I mean, you remember, we're supposed to be going to have a little lunch. Brunch or whatever the hell you call that shit. At like 12 o'clock. <coughs> 12, 1 o'clock. Well, I'm not thinking. She said, well, it's going to be at the prime. I said, where that is? She said, Tim Island, Southfield. I said, all right. She said, well, she did tell me. She said, it is a little pricey. I said, oh, okay. No problem. I mean, I'm treating. She said, well, I'm just letting you know. So I'm getting there. <coughs> pricey. Like I'm thinking like, ah, lunch. Play card to prime. Eh, maybe twenty seven fucking dollars. A nice steak or some shit like that. Shit. I got out the car and I videotaped this shit. As soon as I walked in, I said, shit, this place got fucking chandeliers. This ain't gonna be cheap. I mean, it wasn't a money issue. It was just me being me. So I walked this over to the table and she said, she said, hey, hey, I'm something. I said, hey, then I, I gave her a fist pump. She said, oh, oh, uh, elbow pump. I said, yeah, Corona. And so we sitting there, I'm looking at the, I said, damn, I said, it's a fancy ass place. She said, oh, she said, oh, yeah, it's nice. She said, the ceiling with those chandeliers. I said, yeah, all over the damn place. I said, let me see that damn menu. I'm looking at the fucking menu. She gets a phone call. And you hear in the video, me making all these little remarks in the background. But that's me just being me. And I said, ooh, shit. What the, man? And she said something in her conversation about, yeah, the deal can be tied up. And I, you heard me saying in my breath, shit, I mean, if I get anything for you on this, on this menu, you will be tied up. I'm just, and I, the guy came to the table. I said, no, nah, take your time, brother. You go ahead. You got a kitty menu? And he kind of, he laughed. I made his fucking day. He laughed too. He knew already that I was bullshitting. Why else would we be in a place like this? He knew already when he seated us that obviously we could afford to be there. So this, in his way of thinking, that's some extra humor that just went along with my job. I'm smiling today. That guy asked for a kitty menu. That was funny. So a lot of people like took offense to that. Oh, man, it gave me a hard time. But, like my girl Linda, California, you know what she did? She went back and she found some more videos. Some more videos. And boop, she was hooked. And she hashtag Shay Nation. You see, that's the fact that I have on people because I am who I am. And I just want people to accept me for who I am. I'm going to accept you who you are. That's what it comes down to, but there's so much going on in the world today. I don't even have to tell you. You know, it's, you, you know what we're facing right now. 
I mean, wow. I never thought I'd see this in my lifetime or be part of this. But it is what it is. We have to make the best of it. No matter which way this shit turns out, we just going to have to just make the best of it. That's the best thing I can say about this election. Whatever way this turns out, we just going to have to deal with it and make the best of it. Because what can you do? What can you do? What can you do when you did all you thought you could do? And it wasn't enough. So what? Deal with it. Yeah, there are some people who are not going to like it if it turned out this way. Yeah, there are going to be some people who are going to disagree with it and not like it if it turned out that way. Newsflash. Deal with it, get over it, move on, and keep trying to live your best you, no matter what. Nine times out of ten, if you poll a lot of people, you're just going to be poll. That's just what it is. You're just going to be poll. There's always going to be poll people. Let's keep this shit real. I don't give a fuck what side wins. They're always going to fucking be popey. There's going to be somebody going to be at the bottom of this shit. No matter what, no matter what either side promises. What they don't want to tell you is there's still going to be fucking po people. Po people make, make rich people rich. I said this shit before. Po people, you need po people to make rich people. For the most part, you do. Who gonna build all that shit for eight dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour? When you got a, a, a ten million dollar um, deal? Oh, somebody got. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Everybody can't come up here. Every. Everybody can't be rich. Sorry. We're full up here. Everybody can't be rich. They're going to be poor. There's always going to be a fucking ghetto. I've been ghetto for fucking years. Years. And years. We Actually, we graduated from slums to ghetto. And we're still there. For the most part, we're still there. We are. And who doing it? Nope. Don't keep saying the fucking Democrats. Oh, I'm so fucking sick and tired of hearing that shit. I say it all the fucking time. It's a mindset. What do being a Democrat got to do with cutting your fucking grass? Keeping your property up. Picking up fucking trash when you see it in front of your house on the street. Who stopped you from doing that shit? Uh. Change the mindset. And you can change the direction in which you go. Change the mindset.